Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this one really quick. Um, let's see here. Okay, so yes, we're gonna do this one really quick. Um, so this is another uh, problem in where we have to simplify this exponent. So simplify using exponent or rather, um, what were they called? Properties of exponents. Okay, so we have x squared y to the fourth times 2x to the negative 2, y to the negative 2, all divided by x to the negative 1, y to the fourth, all cubed. So there's two ways in which you can do this one. Um, I'm going to do it, I'll, I'll do it both ways, just for those of you who really want to know, um, like, if you really want to do it both, like, if you really want to do it in terms of, like, without having to do fractions and stuff, I can do it that way. Um, I'm going to do it that way first, just because, you know, just to kind of, because personally I like to do it with fractions, um, so I'm going to do it without fractions first, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is I have, so I'm going to keep the top the same, or actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, um, and if this, I don't know why guys, my OneNote is just not, okay, so what you want to do is you want to get your terms together. So here we have 2x to the negative 2, and then we have x squared times x squared. And then we have y to the negative 2 times y to the negative 2 times y to the 4th all over. And we have the way that I like to do this one, remember that when you have x to the m, y to the n, it's going to be x, y to the, um, or I mean, hold on, to the r, it's going to be x to the m, r, y to the n, r, okay, if that makes any sense, because, so you're basically going to multiply it, you're going to distribute it over here, so here we're going to have x to the negative 3, y to the 12th, okay? And um, from there, if we do 2x to the negative 2 times x to the 2, that's going to be 2x to the negative 2 plus 2, and then times y to the negative 2 plus 4, because... Remember how x to the n times x to the m equals x to the n plus m. So then from there, let's just do, go ahead and put x to the negative 3, y to the 12th, and we have 2x to the 0, y squared over x to the negative 3, y to the 12th. Um, and this is just 1, so we have 2 times 1 times y squared over x to the negative 3, y to the 12th. One of the things that may, they may or may not have told you is if you have a, if you have a negative at the bottom, bring it to the top. So basically, if you have 1 over x to the n, or 1 over x to the negative n, it's just going to be x to the n. So you have... 2x cubed, and then y to the 2, it's going to be 2 minus 12, it's going to be y to the negative 10, um, and then this, y to the negative 10, just goes on the bottom, so we have 2x cubed times 1 over y to the 10th, and we have 2x cubed over y to the 10th, and that's how you would do it. If you want to do it um, by fractions, 
the way that you would do that is you would say x to the x squared y to the fourth times two, or let's see here, it's going to be two times one over x squared times one over y squared divided by x to the negative three y to the twelfth, and that's going to be two, let's see here, it's going to be two x squared y to the fourth over x squared y squared divided by, and we say x to the negative three, that's one over x cubed times y to the twelfth, and we would say this would cancel out 2y to the 4th over y squared, that's just, it's going to be 2 to the, 2y to the 4 minus 2 over y to the 12th over x cubed, okay? And, um, we would say this would be 2y squared divided by y to the 12th over x cubed. This would be 2y squared times x cubed over y to the 12th. And this would just be 2y squared x cubed over y to the 12th. This is equal to 2y to the negative 10 x cubed. And then we have 2 times 1 over y to the 10th times x cubed, and we would say 2x cubed over y to the 10th. So that is how that one is done. Um, so yeah, there's two ways in which you can do this. I mean, we did it, we did it by, without having to do fractions, which was up here. Um, and we did it with using fractions, which is down here. So either way, if you don't use fractions, I mean, you, you don't have to use fractions unless it's really, really, really necessary, like right here. Actually, we did use fractions at the end over here, if we look at it. Um, when we did y to the negative 10, we just said, oh, it's, it's downstairs. So... Yeah, you kind of do have to do, but if you don't want to deal with so many fractions, um, I would suggest doing it in this form. And I don't know why it's not. My highlighter is not registering, but um, that's how you would do it if you were to do it um, with, you know, if you were to not use so many fractions up here and if you were not if you were to use fractions over here so um i hope that helps guys um that was another example of how to solve how to simplify using exponent properties um if you guys have any questions please let me know also please like comment and or subscribe thank you so much guys i will see you guys in the next video